little bit of a tutorial on how to type thing for the animal pins in American Life Farming. Um, animals and other things that show up when you buy the map. So I've been playing around, getting everything organized, got it all set up. Took a little while to figure out some of the things, like just now I have to try to find the horses and the straw for them. I'm like, what the heck? It's literally right off the road. So either way, uh, I'll show you to get a better idea what you're looking at. Okay, so. First and foremost, about the whole map. Yeah, the whole map. <laughs> Funny thing is, like, this little section, I didn't even realize this was zero value, but it's a teeny tiny spot there. I don't even know what the heck that's all about, <laughs> but it's kind of funny. And then you get the anhydrous station there, truck stop, all that little fun stuff. So if you look at the contracts, oh, there's the plane. That's the lower, louder plane that you hear. Um, there's another one that's flying over here, so that's another new update that Nancy Boy added to it. Some planes flying over, which is pretty cool. Most farm areas, you, there's some plane at some point coming flying over it. <laughs> but, uh, contracts, <laughs> all I have is transport ones, because, well, everything's bought up. <laughs> no animals at the moment, but, uh, what I'm going to do is start off... Right up top here, we're going to go ahead and we'll start cows, horses, pigs, cows, and calves. And over the chickens and the sheep, and then we're done. So we'll just do a little loop like that. To the left, to the bottom, to the right, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. <laughs> now some of these, like this one here, if you sell it off, just the little side that goes away. So it's not like, it's just animal pins, but everything does go away, so you have to actually do it just right. So, like, if I take, oops, if I sell it, so the horse pin, I didn't even think about to do some other gameplay, because, you know, 51,000 is not much for the horses, so if I sell that off, see, the horse pin thing goes away. My stuff is still there, but I don't own anything. So I buy it back, boom, back, the horse comes back. Little things. Um, since I bought all the land, as you can see, most of the fields are, they're cultivated, harvested, or about ready to be harvested. <laughs> kind of funny how that works out, but some of these little spots are kind of interesting. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, some more up here. I put some muddy inside, a little tiny, uh, I put through down the pillow to get the thing worked out, so. So this first farm up here cow one. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not a milk farm. You don't, there's nowhere to get milk anywhere. I mean, I looked everywhere and I don't think this, I think this is just a meat cow farm, but you can open the doors and watch that little bunk. <laughs> Kick that over. So we'll just buy some cows real quick. Throw them all in there. And show you how this all works out. Oops, sorry about that. Jamming out, man. <laughs> some reason, some of these things don't work out. Like, for instance, this guy doesn't work for water trigger. I'm not sure if it's supposed to or what exactly. It looks like it should be a water trigger. Not the right color. Like, normally it's the green ones, but I don't know. It could be something else. Oh, it's just got a spigot there. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to try and see if I can fill it. Maybe it needs to be filled. That'd be kind of cool. Either way, um, I'll show you what I just grabbed all these cases. <laughs> I can't remember what the slot count is originally on, but it's, you might as well get the same one over and over again because it's only one extra slot. Saves a lot on slot counts and trailers. Food or prop, properly on that. And a telehander to put into the straw on these. This big comfort. Oh, I like that. That thing is nice. You can fit eight bales in each one. And these are just, they said I'm just doing a walk through here, water. It's a quick thing here, but uh, first off, put in the food, and it took me a minute to figure it out. But you come inside here. 
I drove right past because you can kind of you can see the little squares and right there next to the round dealio, but kind of interesting. So as you're filling it up, see that center ring fills up with the, it's like a big hay roll thing, but. I probably didn't need to get the bigger trailer like that either, but either way, just, just doing this for temporary services there. So I'm going to shut that up there. Nerva comes out here. And the water, we'll go ahead and put this in here. around back inside the yard so I'm going to go down the center here pretty cool setup here it's the old metal pin that's <laughs> pretty cool come right here to the water boom drop off the water There's no collisions on the animals. It's funny if you're walking. Boom, run into the animal, see? But when you're driving, it doesn't touch them. So that's kind of an interesting scenario, but either way, slurry right there on the right. Ooh, hey. Let's see if I hit this just right and get through here. Oh, look at that! <laughs> just squeezed by. And these, more storage sheds, oh, it's just one big one, actually. Over to here. Straw goes in the middle here. This is what I like about these guys here. Hold eight bales in that sucker, it's pretty awesome. I know it's at 100%, but each it shows per bale if you see the 4,000. Pretty good, cool, pretty good. Cool. I see the straw filling up around the sides of there. Ooh, it's pushing up the vehicle. <laughs> Normally you have to manually push the button, but sometimes it'll automatically do it, so just keep this last one on there. Alright, cool. Backing out of here. This is what I like about the CU. <coughs> Pardon me. Hit the button, it just drops down like that. You can put four bales on each side. Um, if you do them lengthwise, not like the ones in there, if you turn it lengthwise four right next to each other on either side then when you fold this up they go in on their nose right in the middle and you're good to go it's pretty awesome there's a belt in the bottom that pulls you know in theory <laughs> pulls the straw bale to the front that chews it up and spits it out close those doors up there and of course the grate here you can't the cows can't get out be like was shown earlier the slurry pits right here and that's pretty much the cow farm there. And I don't, like I said, I don't see anything for milk. It does say milk on there, but I don't. I didn't see anything for it. So, so anyway, let's go over to the next group. Down to the horses. Boom, right here. This is the spot for the horses. We'll grab a couple few horses here. Horses, um, oh. food, get back, horse. <laughs> it's funny, I open it up and you go right over to it, like, hey, what's that door for? <laughs> I 
food goes here. Okay, got the one on the other side. That's interesting. Yep, there it is, okay. So food's on the back side. Yep, see the horse is running right through it. Have a uh, storage shed there, too. Let's put straw bales or something in there. Get this out of here before I hurt somebody like myself. <laughs> matters honestly. Alright, go ahead and shut that guy down. Sorry, can't get out. Just some water in there. Boom boom boom. And the straw, I could have swore that spot where the horse where you buy the horses was it. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it, and then finally I was driving by on the main road and went, oh, it's right there. Shit, where it is kind of weird. Excuse me. Right there. Oh, jeez, stop sign. Um, yeah, I'm swerving a little more than I thought I would. <laughs> Sorry. on that street sign. It was just laying there when we got here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Turn this around here. We should be able to connect to it, right? There. This track is pretty cool. Nice. Turn. Ooh, turn on show. It's a new mod we just got, so that's good. But I should just keep. Of course, it's not in the way. Even though I'm right in the way. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, there's a straw. Boom. Parked in the middle of the road, throwing straws, isn't that amazing? <laughs> I thought I could get another side. You see, a lot of times you can. Anyway, whatever. Straws done. So I'll move this guy out of the way so it's not in the way. Kind of boxing more. I just said there. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of cool. I was running by. I'm like, oh, look at that little lawnmower here. That's kind of cool. But you can't do anything with it. Can't touch it. Can't pick it up. Can't do nothing. That's a bummer. Well, then the, we're doing the pigs now. So the pigs are, so the horses are there. Pigs are right across the street. Coming over to the pigs. Oops, I gotta go further over here. So we'll go ahead and get the food first. Oh, actually, make, get some pigs would be a good idea. Um, whoops, <laughs> I hope I... Purchase them, be awesome. Pigs running around, hoink, 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 hoink. <laughs> so, get the feed in here.
Oh, that the water I hear. <laughs> the water here. That's where your maneuver comes out. Pretty obvious, but you never know. That's all the water they take. They don't do much for water, do they? <laughs> and then the straw goes over another side over there. And of course you get some of these farm buildings and stuff like that too, it's pretty cool. And this one, it's like the other cow farm we're going to go down to, has a slurry pit like that, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, man. I thought I'd be able to use that straw bale, but it didn't work. <laughs> Alright, so there's that there. Yep, story right there. And that's the pigs. We also have a silo there. Grain silo there, so... Because on a water field trigger, and I couldn't figure out where to get them from here too originally, but obviously you can go straight to the end here, and there's actually a water filter. Oh, sorry, right there. Right in there, so. So there's that. Um, I did do a video on these guys down here. Oops. With the cows and the, the, the um, the, uh, the little fellers. All right, so we'll just open up this gate here. Oh, by the way, too, let me go back up here and show you. Well, the horses, I don't think there's any, there's no lights that I can tell. And that building doesn't look like they have anything in there. These are outside, actually. What am I doing? Never mind. <laughs> wow, that dude's chomping. Well, they're having fun in the mud, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, so let me get back down here. There's no lights needed there. My fault. So first off, food. Grab the food. Oh. Animals would be a good idea. <laughs> Just come over here, hit the animal button. Boom, done. Ten cows in there. Food goes down the middle there. Side. This is pretty cool. Oh, sorry. Food goes right on the edge there, yeah, so. Not sure where it's really going, but it works. <laughs> That's what matters. It works right in that area, so. So move this guy out of the way. Go dump the water. Ooh. You can see the TMR goes along the sides there. That's also where you have to clean the pin. The cleaning comes up out of the food, same as the other animals. Water's back in here. For a pretty big, manly tractor thing, that's kind of a weak horn, isn't it? <laughs> Really neat buildings, fancy boy made too. This is something I've never seen. Got the buildings cross from that, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, man. Took me forever to find the straw thing on this one too, but that's why I made another video for it. But this is going to be a little more to it. So that's all of them. So that's a good part.
Once you get past here, boom, straw pops out. Uh, yes, you, can, you can watch it filling up on the sides there. Ever so slightly, but it is filling. <laughs> Of course, you know, less anim the less animals are in there. And see that chain in the middle is pulling the... <coughs> excuse me, pulling the uh, straw bales forward. In theory. So that's all for the straw. Back this guy out of here. Close that puppy up. There's a light switch here. He's got a little markings on it. Um, milk point here. Here, so this one does produce milk, and this you also need the milk for the calves. Oh, pardon me, take up there. The newer produces over here. You'll have to scoop it out. Another light switch over here. Took me a while to find the manure part, too, but <laughs> it's just cool. This, and I mean, if you go in here, so the hallway here is basically like a holding pin type looking thing. It's pretty wild. Here's a counter. <laughs> so neat. So neat. It's neat to see these unique things like this. So then the calves here. I'm not going to put any in there right away, but. I go here. Get the calves. And I figured, I was watching them, checking them out. Unfortunately, they only produce other calves. I don't. I don't know if they grew up. I haven't played long enough to really go that way, but so the cows take milk and straw. So bring milk in here, and it'll fill up these buckets. And I've not seen. I don't think they do slurry, but manure piles up back in this corner. Um, a little bucket and pull it out. But <laughs> so I think the slurry might go to the same place for both animals. But slurry for the cow pen goes down here. This will fill up. And then you can remove it from here. Collection. Collect it from there. Um, I'll let this go a little bit longer and come back and do the calves at the last minute. But this this area here too has got all these silage bunkers. Really nice. All these farms are really cool. But. So now we'll come around. Uh, obviously, like we talked about the farms, all of them are pretty much ready to be harvested. Some of these. If you take away the silos, go away. It's pretty cool, but so what are the chickens? Chickens, pretty pretty straightforward. Chickens here. Between all of them, I believe, are five hundred. What does it say? Interesting. Well, except for horses, of course. Yeah, the horse, of course. <laughs> Food. The chicken pins. Uh, pretty self explanatory here. Boom, drop that in there. And the eggs will come out of her. So, of course, you put them in there. Eggs are out here. Food's over there. Pretty basic, simple setup there. And then we go back over to the sheep up here. So we're just making a little loop-de-loop -loop here at the shop, and you also have the animal dealer. I think there's two animal dealers, right? Yep, you have another animal dealer down here. So we, it's a little closer, be cheaper to put the animals in. I'm just putting them in just to show you all. Show everybody how this works out. All right, so then over here, we got this place that opens up two sheep. Throw some buddies in now. Food. Goes right up in here. Ooh. Tried turning, didn't it? And 
There we go. Got the food in there. Oh, and as you can see, interesting, that's how this tooth is sheep. Silage grass, alfalfa, hay, windrow, hay, I can't read all that, sugar, beet, carrot, hay pellets. So they take a lot of different types of things, too. Same here with the, I just noticed this with these guys, grass, but also alfalfa, hay. Alfalfa, hay, windrow, hmm. Alfalfa, hay is another one. Pretty interesting. Sorry, I just, same with these hay, alfalfa, hay. Cool, good to know. And when I'm playing this later on, I can figure more out. <laughs> Water goes over here. Oh, yeah, okay. Thought I hit it, but I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> Water goes here. Playing around with this earlier too, and I looked up and figured. So same thing over here too. There's another. I oh, shouldn't be jumping out of the tractors. It's not good for the engines. <laughs> There's another. So that's a green one. That's interesting. But I could not get water out of it for the life of me. So I don't know if it's just a little hiccup that happens, unfortunately, or what. But so then we got these guys. Got these two sets of doors here. And um, when they start producing wool, the wool will pellet spawn out here. Didn't really, don't know exactly if it was a preference for the one pallet spawn there and another pallet, so they were just kind of angled next to each other. It's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. So this is the, those are all the pins, all the locations. Uh, as you can see, they're all clean. Same thing with the cleanliness and pretty self-explanatory. Where the except for the one cow pin, the large cow pin, the regular one. I'd have to take a look. Dang it, I don't remember how many. I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and get the check on the everything else here. <coughs> Pardon me again. I'm going to have something to drink here. Hmm. That might be a good idea, huh? <laughs> ah, tea. Iced tea is very good. So, yep, we got the... Uh, go back to the map here. So we hit this cow farm. Hit the horses, the pigs. This cow farm. I'm going to go ahead and get the calves. Let's get some milk, chicken and sheep so I'll go ahead and fast forward just a little bit here so I will bring you all back in here in a minute once I get some more animals and I'll show you where things spawn all right we'll see you in a little bit all right so I fast forwarded to another day unfortunately some of the feeds are really low Ooh, 44 percent wow that's pretty low but <laughs> Anyway, um, we'll go ahead and check where we are at. So let's go up to the same thing. We'll cycle around. <laughs> now, for some reason, it shows milk at both cow pens, but cow patch, but I, I know I don't. I can't find the milk for the life of me in these things. And this one up here, though. If anybody has an idea, let me know. I went around the whole thing. I went looking around everywhere. Had the help menu on everything, and I just cannot find it. So that's a bummer, but... Looks like, uh... I'm trying to figure out where to clean this thing, too. But, oh, right there. Looks like silage, okay. So... Yeah, look at all that mess there. So there's the cleaning area. Well, that kind of makes sense because it's in that middle row. Just open the gate and there's straw on in there. Well, either way, either side you can see too. Then, like we talked about, um, slurry is covered so you can't see it over on the other side there. Oh, here comes that plane again. 
Let's see, let's see the other one. Definitely some maneuvers in there. <laughs> I was thinking maybe this is a milk tank. I drove around and around and around and around and around and around and yeah, that. <laughs> I just could not get to it, so I don't know. <coughs> hmm, pardon me. No, where it would be, that's a silo. It's just a green silo. With, so it's not, I don't know. I'll do a little more research. Once if I find something, I'll let you all know. But I, no, I watched Lancy Boy walk around on this map and I'm pretty sure you said it was just a uh, cattle farm not no no uh <coughs> no milk there you go well wow. just a meat meat farm basically well heck that's interesting Horse farm here. That looks like manure to me. So that's interesting. They make manure, but it doesn't matter. Hmm. <laughs> more to research. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to answer some question. I'm making more. <laughs> Water, hay still good. Um, straw still good there too. Excellent. Horses doesn't have anything about cleanliness. If I didn't, I didn't write any of them. I'm just trying to show off, show up some of these dealios. Oh, I forgot the hay. Bummer. I forgot about that. And then carrot too. Look at that. Okay, so I just opened my eyes and looked at that. I'm so used to just regular game stuff, and uh, apparently it's a little more to it. Chicken, wheat, rye, barley, okay, that's effective 100%. But they also take sugar beet, carrot, uh, soybeans, corn. Oh, wheat, triticle, and rye, and then barley is at 30%. That's a little t cool. Uh, I, I, I'm glad I'm reading this with everybody here. I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't look at all this stuff before. But And if I would looked down the bottom instead of trying to read across the food thing up there, that would have probably been easier. Hey, good job, Rob. <laughs> And pigs are basically the same, yeah. Oh, wheat, rye, critical and rye are a little bit different. Carrots, cool. So, yeah. So, horses, same old there, so that's good. Move over to the piggies, the winkers. <laughs> Squealing away like little kids. Pig food everywhere, of course. Water. Ooh. Manooters and slurry. It's starting to pull in there. That's interesting. That's cool. Alright, then we'll go out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that one last. That way I can kind of show you all what I'm doing. Alright, so let's go over here to the sheep farm. And I was showing you here. See, this is where the wool spawns out here. So this one will be here, and the next one will be kind of like next to it. I'm like, huh. So if I'm going to do the uh, animal transport, once you put the pallet down, which is pretty cool, because uh, you use these pallets for, or these truck tractors, bleh, the trailers. So I put the trailer down right in front of the pallet, which is here. I'm sure some of you use these. If not, then it's just the animal goods transport. That that mod there. Just put the pa pallet. Same thing, you know. You can pick between the wool, the eggs, and then uh, if you put the pallet below this before this spawns out, it'll automatically put it on that pallet. And when the arrows, if you have it facing towards the trailer, I just park the trailer next to it. Every time something spawns, boom, go straight on the trailer. Boom, straight on the trailer. 
same with the eggs, which is really nice because you don't have to be a little, unless you get a. I was like, what is this pallet of? Well, that's kind of cool. Hmm. But the chicken chicks, I threw a few more chickens in there because so it went overnight and I didn't get any eggs. I was like, what? My eggs spawn here as normal. Same thing with this. You put the pallet in here. Those will go on the pallet. If you put a trailer here, it'll go on the pallet and then boom onto the trailer right away and it'll be in the little container, kind of like the wool. It's pretty cool. So those are the animals. Alright, and then I'll show you. I did a little tour of this, but I'm going to show you here now. Before, oh, yeah, let me show you this rest of this cow here. So, yeah. Pretty neat how some of these fences are separated, but the cows don't get out. Just old school, buddy. <laughs> and you can see the uh, TMR on the sides there. It's the silage in the middle. That's the cleaning. Gonna clean that up. I don't mind the truck yet. <laughs> Manure there. Hey, cow's just walking around in his own poo. Huh. Then I'll go ahead and grab this. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just having fun with this while I'm doing this. <laughs> so the milk, we'd pull the milk out, so it's 1220 in here. This little container's got, it's up to 2000, so. Gotta listen to this truck up close. <laughs> so cool. It's one of the new mods for console again. Two monster. I think it's already on PC, but. Alright, I'll go ahead. Get some cabs in here. We'll throw a few in. Yeah, it's. <laughs> wow, that's some funkiness there. Anyway, so, yeah, bring this milk trick in here. See those little buckets getting filled up down there? So now these little buckets are filled up. I can't open the gate either, unfortunately, but... <laughs> Dude's up in the corner, they're like, chillin' like a villain. Alright. Slurry. He doesn't look there's much down there. Nothing on the boat. There's a little bit. Ooh. I noticed that because I was playing around with this other day, and uh, I put the filled tires, which is water for. I think it's water filled. Oh, let me take a look real quick while we're at it. Liquid filled. And boy, I tell you, it's got a little more uh, maneuverability with the liquid filled. I'm kind of digging that. on there. See if we go to the animals now. It's a little baby calves. They need straw and milk. So the milk, or sorry, the straw. Just have a little bit of straw here, so I'm going to bring that over there. Oh, barely bumped it. Okay. Well, notice with this, though, I'm going to keep an eye on that straw bill. I think it's about 2,500, right? I'm full of straw, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> but it's still a 2500, I don't know, I don't know if it was a 2600, I don't remember. I didn't look at it before I did that, that was my bad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. There's that there, and... So then those guys will produce more calves in, uh... It's the manure shop in that corner over there. Quick fast forward for a few minutes to show everybody. And play around for a second. <laughs> or what it's like. That's the slurry pit, but just don't act like it's not slurry. Woo! Boom! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, 
yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Straw there, the milk. Uh, oh, there's a little pile of it there. <laughs> this is where the manure goes in. And what I was using for this, I don't s kind of. <laughs> kind of. Uh, it's nothing meant to by any means, uh, just except for the, the bucket to use stuff with. But I was using this one. <laughs> this. Yeah, it's not. Like I said, nothing against it by any means. Just, <laughs> just it's easier to bring it here, scoop it out, come up over here, and go dump it wherever, you know, or put it in a truck or trailer or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that'll do it for this video. If you'd like, hit the like button, subscribe, say hello. If you have any idea where the milk is for the other one, I don't, like I said, I don't think, ooh, pretty sure it's not milk, but the way it's saying it's kind of throwing me off. So I'd like to find out more details, but I'll look for it myself too. If you have any ideas, let me know. Whoa! Wow, that's a. <laughs> I really could not do that in real life ever. <laughs> I think anybody could. But yeah, um. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great night. And uh, I'm definitely going to be coming up with uh, having some 4th of July stuff on this map. Not with all the fields, of course, but go from there. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you later.